hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and get so that you can get notified when i upload a new content in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design something like this in corel draw so before any further ado let's get started All right, so we are going to use, this is A4, then bring out your rental go, then you drag it down, then get your cycle, hold down your control key to draw a perfect cycle. Now I'm going to duplicate this one into two or rather then move move this up like this then you right click now what I'm going to do next I will apply a forest green color on this one then this one can be like that or apply a white color then remove the outline color Then on this one, bring out, click on the shadow, then you drag it down. Then go to your shadow property to adjust the shadow. and click out then I'm going to import first okay let me import them all then I have something like this okay then click on this one click on power clip then click inside oh man okay then i have something like this go to edit then adjust it something like this then okay Okay, let, let us make it like this. This is okay. Because I want this part to appear. Then, alright. Select all. Then, power clip inside. Alright, this is how it look now. Okay, go back to edit power clip. Then select all. 
drag it down a bit all right now break the shadow then use your arrow key to drag the shadow come back uh, down small okay then you click out and now you can see a shadow over there like this all right then right click to remove your outline color then on the background press g on your keyboard to get the interactive <coughs> interactive fill color then you drag down like this then on this place i'm going to use this color here here i'm is going to be white then i'll drag this one down All right, now I'm going to bring my type in. Uh, Ctrl V to paste. Then I'm going to use um okay this century expand bt no uh, normal italic like this control z Hold, click on it, hold down your shift key, then press C to align center. Then I'm going to copy powder, then paste. Then the font I'm going to use here is Century Gothic. I normally use that font. Then I have something like this. All right. Then I'm going to copy this also. Duplicate this one. Then paste my test there. I'm going to break it. Like this I'm going to reduce that line, it's too much.
okay then the next test to bring i'm going to bring this one copy it then i'm going to also use this one Control a and Control v I'm going to duplicate this one I'll duplicate this one over here like this Highlight it Then I'll bring this one And paste it over there Now I have something like this. Now, I'm also going to paste this one. Control V to paste. Then Control K to break it. Like this. Then I'm going to use this font called Loopstar. Blue star. All right. Then I will have a cycle like this. Then use this forest green. Remove the outline color. something like this I will take it up here like this then we bring this one front Now, I'm going to apply a line color, that line color on it. Double click here. Then let me use two and see. Then select behind. I'm going to change that color because the color is not showing. Let me use something like this one first. All right. Then, okay. Then I will change the All right. I'll change it to a green. I think okay. Now 
what I'm going to do next, I will apply shadow on it like this. Okay, click out. Break the shadow, select the shadow, then power clip inside, then do the same thing to 100%. Alright. Then hundred gram copy. And I'm going to paste here. I'll also use the font loopster. Then bring up my another renter as a leaf to draw my cycle. Then use this forest green. Then I'll also I'm applying the same thing I did to the first one. Then Right now, I will bring this one to the front, then change the color to white. Then go to shadow, apply shadow. Like this then click to break the shadow select the shadow and power clip the shadow inside the cycle all right now I will also apply shadow on this forest green this break the shadow select the shadow then use your arrow key to bring it down a bit like this then right click and power clip the shadow So the next thing to do now is to put our social media and phone number Apply the same thing to the remaining one.
Now what I'm going to do on this Instagram, I'm going to select my right angle. Then like this. Take it to this side. Like this. Now select on your shape tool. Then you drag this one. Like this. So once you have it like this, then select on the Instagram, then power clip inside the cycle. Now you don't have that edges again. Then you remove the outline color. So this is what we have now. Okay, reduce it a bit. So that there will be equal. Now, also delete this one, reduce the size. Alright, so what we do next now is to take it to our designing. this then C and E for alignment. Then going to select my shape to drag like this. Then I will apply a forest color here. Then control page down. And I have something like this. Then copy this one. Before then, it's too big. I have to reduce it. Reduce it like this. Now, copy it. Then do the same thing. Control page down. Use your arrow key to move this one forward.
Dan Select them Press C on your keyboard and E To align it The same thing to this one Reduce the size here then copy it this one again drag it to Twitter then align it now you have something like this Ctrl G to group them Now Draw them closer Then you Put the social media name. Hmm. What I'm, I'm still I'm going to use Moringa here. Moringa Foodie. So Foodie. Um. NG. All right, something like this. At. Okay. Then go to test. Go to select change case. Go to lower case. Okay. Then everything we turn to small letter. then apply deep black color all right then change the font to century gothic then i will also copy this one then now highlight Control A to align Then type a phone number then So Something like this So now you have something like this. So bring this one down. Then move it to the left. Okay, so this is how you can design a packaging Moringa. Alright, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe. And don't forget to comment and share.